Hey everybody, Coach Dan here from The Run Experience. Every year, thousands of first-time ultra runners line up at starting lines all over the world. In 2019, 135,000 people finished an ultra marathon. I know that sounds like a lot, but about 7 million people finished 10Ks that same year, so it's still pretty rare air up here in the ultra world. But the more people get interested, the more I hear all how do I know when I'm ready? So if you've asked yourself that question, this video is for you. I'm gonna give you five things, and if you can put a check mark next to all five, I think you're ready for the starting line. The first thing you've gotta keep in mind if you're gonna run an ultra marathon is that you've gotta to get to that starting line injury free. I don't just mean big injuries, I mean little things. Anything that hurts at the starting line of an ultra marathon is gonna stop you from getting to the finish line. Trust me, there's enough time in an ultra to find things that hurt. You don't need to start with something busted up. So the number one tip for getting started in your ultra marathon running journey is to make sure you get to the starting line pain free. Number two is consistency. You've gotta be able to train consistently with good mileage to make sure you're ready for the physicality of what an ultra marathon demands of you. A good rule of thumb is that if your weekly mileage is roughly the length of your race and you can sustain that for a few weeks at a time, chances are you're getting fit enough to run your first ultra. So if you're gonna run a 50 miler, sounds great to me. Make sure you can run 50 miles a week without getting hurt consistently. If your body's resilient enough to match that weekly mileage, chances are you're ready for that starting line. Part of the challenges with ultra distance runs is that you've got to fuel on the go. That means you've got to eat literally while you're running. And so it's best to learn to do that. Make sure you test the type of fuel that's going to work for you. Some people bodies don't tolerate gels all that well. Some people need real food. Other people can get away with those heavy sugar gels or even the maple syrup stuff that lots of people like. And so you've got to learn that stuff in training. Before you get to the starting line of your first ultra, you've got to know what but your body works well with as fuel, how you're going to keep energized all the way along. Ultra running is mental as much as it is physical and so the fourth thing you've got to do is get your mind right. Train that space between your ears to get ready for an ultra marathon. That means you've got to know it's going to hurt a little at times. It's not always going to feel good. And you've got to learn how it feels to be in that deep water during a race to know what you're going to expect. And so the fourth tip to make sure you're ready for your first ultra is to get right between your ears. Spend some time thinking about how you want to feel at the finish line, what you're willing to do during the race, how to problem solve what you need to do to keep going even when your body and your mind start to tell you that maybe it's time to stop. Number five is that you've got to be willing to ignore all the reasons to not do it and there's plenty of them. I can think of tons of reasons to not run an ultra marathon, but the truth is, if you're willing to look past all of that common sense that tells you it's just too far to run, well, maybe you are ready. Maybe it's time to think about that ultra sign up page that you've been eyeing. While you're running, your mind is going to throw up all kinds of reasons for you to stop, and you've got to be ready to deal with how that feels. If you're willing to ignore all of those reasons, the time it takes, the physicality it takes, the pressures that it's going to put on, the, on your body, well, maybe you're ready to go. Every runner can run an ultra if they put in the effort. One of the things you need to do is make sure you're strong enough by doing the right type of strength work. The video over my shoulder by Coach Morgan has got a great trail running strength workout that will get you where you need to be. See you next time.